Hi, today we're going to talk about the Make Model Year within Ironspeed 11.1. Make Model Year is a concept that links information from related tables. Uh, and the classic one, of course, is automobiles. So you have a make, a model, and a year. So you have a make of Ford, for example. Model could be Mustang. Year could be 1964. Um, but the concept can be applied to any related information. And what I've done here is created a simple demo database with a vehicle that has a make model year. Um, and what normally happens is if you don't link the information together in the interface, you, when selecting a make, you'll get all the makes. When selecting model, you'll get all the models. And when selecting year, you'll get all the years. What we need to do is to filter that down such that when you uh, choose Ford, for example, from the make, you only want to see uh, the models that are applicable to, to Ford. And similarly, when you choose a model, you only want to see the years that model was available. So I've got a very simple database, as I say, and I've set up some, some test uh, data. And what I'm going to, going to do is go into IronSpeed and just sort of view where we are and see the limitations uh, of the model without it being linked. Then we're going to link it and you'll see how that, uh, how work, how that works in IronSpeed. And it's really easy. So uh, we're in SQL Server. As I say, we've shown you the uh, schema relationship. Now we're going to go into IronSpeed and, and view the interface there. So within Ironspeed we have our make, we have our model, and we have a year. What we don't have yet is our vehicle, and we're going to go into the wizard and create that. One thing you must do if you're going to use this make model year concept is to use drop-down lists, okay, so that you can link the uh, the action of the drop-down, uh, get the post back, repopulate. And Ironspeed takes care of 99% of that. You just need to make that link. So I'm going to go into the wizard. And I'm going to tell it to go and uh, from my database, uh, I'm going to go and get my pages. And we want to uh, go and create a vehicle. OK. Uh, I'm just going to create some simple add, edit, uh, and sort of basic show uh, pages. Um, one of the things we need to do is go into options is to make sure that we have the drop down list uh, selected. Don't use the quick selector in this scenario. OK. So next, and then we finish. So Ironspeed is now going to go away and create the uh, vehicle pages for us. So once the page loads, we're going to go to vehicle and add vehicle. And we're going to look at the make. As you can see, all the makes, all the models, and all the years, which we don't want. We want to be able to pick, uh, for example, Ford and find that this list is filtered. But of course, it's not. We haven't done anything yet. So that's what it is at the moment. And we're going to now change that. So let's just close that off again. Go back into our Add Vehicle page. And we can see what Iron Speed has produced. It's created a make, which is a drop down list, as you can see off to the right there. We have a model, again, drop down list and year. So what we need to do is link the model with the make and the year with the model. So first of all, let's choose the uh, make ID, which is the drop down list. If we look on the data source tab down below, we can see we've got the different data sources for the different components. OK, the different controls there. We've got the make ID and off to the right. If we edit that, it will come up and you'll see there is no uh, where clause, which we don't want for make. We're just going to leave that completely as is. If we then go and look at the model ID, which is for the model, again, there is no where clause. Uh, we need to add the where clause that links the model to the make. So click on the add clause button. Off to the left, um, it's already filled in the table name for us. We just need to say, I need to make the make ID field and the operator is equal to and the formula um, we want to make it equal to the make ID selected value of that drop down box. Uh, very easily, you right click, you go to the UI control, so it looks on the page, finds all the controls on the page, and says, OK, here's the list, and I want to link it to the make ID. Now it knows that make ID is a drop down, and it, so it links it to the field selected value. OK, that's all you need to do. Very simple. Click OK. We're going to finish. I'm then going to go to the uh, year ID and repeat the same thing. Edit, uh, add where clause, off to the left. This time we want to link it to the model ID is equal to formula 
right click UI controls and we're going to go for the model ID it's important that you um, get that right of course otherwise you'll be linking to the wrong control um, we've got three controls make model year you can have more of course you could have for example you know, the world continents countries states counties uh, so you can go down quite a few levels and at each level you could filter based on the parent so um, finish that one let's do a build and then we're going to go back into our browser and see the effect of putting those links in okay so refresh the page so we're going to go back into this uh, ad vehicle page um, this time when we look at uh, make there's no change of course because we haven't touched that one but if we look at model empty and the year empty it's because we haven't actually selected a make yet so if I now select make of uh, Ford okay and go and look at my model drop down I only see models that are linked to Ford okay and if we look at the year again nothing is selected because it's waiting for me to select a model so I now select model let's say Mustang and now the year has been populated silently you don't see what's going on it just posts back to the server and repopulates for us using Ajax uh, and then we come down and we pick a year okay um, and that's all there is to it I'm going to save that now oh I need a color let's give that a color of doesn't really matter just to complete the picture and it's saved into the database if we go and edit that now it's going to the edit page this time and I haven't actually changed the drop-down uh, linkage for the edit page okay so it's still going to show me everything so let's quickly amend that let's go back into our iron speed application uh, a quick way around that is because these are effectively uh, everything I need I'm going to copy those go into my edit and then I'm going to now delete these from my edit page and paste in the ones from my ad so if I were to go and look at model as you can see you can see the link is there same with the year so to save me having to redo them I'm just going to copy paste if we now rebuild and then go back into our browser edit should work in the same way that ad did okay let's just refresh that page okay so we've got Ford Mustang um, Ford there we go this time again we've only got the Ford models in there and we've only got the years applicable to that model so if I change the model to something different my years change if I change my make to something different let's say Chrysler my models change okay go back to Ford got the Mustang go back to Lexus you'll notice that it's still got Mustang in there because that was the original value in the field okay so just bear that in mind we go back to make and show you that off again pick Ford here we go pick something else so hopefully you can see as we move through the different selections here we populate those drop downs according to what its parent was so that's how make model year works um, it's a concept don't don't think it's linked only to make model year of course you can apply it in any context um, but it works very easily and as long as you've got that right relationship in the database which is important iron speed will very simply link together just with two clicks um, as you saw there to link the um, the make uh, with the model and the model with the year so I hope that's helped um, my name's Tim Titchmarsh um, look forward to uh, meeting you again on our next presentation thanks very much